During World War II, around 6 million Jews were murdered by the Nazi regime and its collaborators. The names of more than 1 million of them are still unknown. However, AI could now help putting names to some of the many faces of victims and survivors. I found uh, photos that um, basically showed my grandfather. When American software engineer Daniel Pett visited the Poland Museum of the History of Polish Jews in Warsaw, he realized he could be passing the faces of his own relatives without even knowing it. Three of his four grandparents are Shoah sure survivors from Poland. So, he developed the facial recognition platform Numbers to Names that identifies the faces of Shoah sure survivors. Numbers to Names is a website that you can go to and upload um, a picture of your family member or loved one who uh, was, in, was in Europe during the Holocaust and it can basically help you find other photos of, of that same family member um, that you may have never seen before. Facial recognition software reads the geometry of a face with the help of AI. Key factors include the distance between the eyes and the distance from forehead to chin. The software identifies facial landmarks that are key to distinguishing a face, a face print. Just like thumbprints are unique, each person has their own face print. This face print is then compared with a database of known faces. To search for someone on Daniel's website, you simply need to upload a photo and click the search button. The software then returns the 10 best potential matches from the database after 24 hours. So far, the platform has analyzed nearly half a million photos containing around 2 million faces. In one of them, it found Samantha's grandfather. I found uh, photos that um, basically showed my grandfather in the Lonsberg displaced person camp, uh, where he was after the war. Her grandfather was acting as a police officer at the Landsberg displaced person camp, where he met Samantha's grandmother before they moved to the United States. Both passed away in the past few years of old age. To have any memento of them, especially since they're no longer here, is incredibly powerful. We've mostly worked with people who are the sons and daughters and, you know, grandsons and granddaughters of survivors, and in which case it's a very meaningful discovery for them. The work is tedious while the clock is ticking. There's an urgency to identify people as the last remaining survivors are passing. The website could become an important vehicle for Shoah education in the future. People can use the software to help identify faces in photo and video archives, potentially discovering new connections between descendants and their ancestors. The more um, that students are exposed to um, these photos and the stories behind the people and, and you know, kind of understanding um, that uh, there's actually descendants who are alive today that are their age, their peers, and um, they're connected to to them through these through these photos and these, through these discoveries. I think that's something which where we could you know really help have the Holocaust be you know something that people see as something that happened very recently and it's it's not ancient history. It really is just so important and to our family is just uh, such a testament to how technology is preserving those stories and ensuring that they're never forgotten. Would you like to find out more about your family's history with the help of AI? Let us know in the comments.